right now I have in studio with me Dave Cooper, a visual yeah, artist. Sure. Good morning, uh, Dave. Good morning, good morning. I haven't seen you in a while. I know you, the last time we spoke, you were building sets. You know, I know you're a set builder. You do big costume types. You do um, events as well. Events. Uh, sets for events. And uh, what's been happening with you? Um, I've been teaching at um, Digo Martin North Secondary, and I've been on a road to health and reform and trying to just improve everything in a formal direction. That's so formal, you know. I ask him that when I say, I say, hey, what you doing? He say, I tried to lose some weight, girl. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you step yeah. into our lovely um, set and then you yeah. go, all formal on me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Trying to sound perfect for television. <laughs> not, not at all yeah. necessary. Not at all necessary, Dave. Okay. So um, I know that you had traveled a bit. You've done some work outside. Yeah, um, since like about 2016, I've been traveling um, Going to New York and doing some stuff, going to Miami and doing some stuff. When you say some stuff, what do you mean? Like creative stuff. Creative right? stuff. Yeah. People know about me from Trinidad and of course, you know, you have the diaspora that 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 lines in Miami and New York and different places. Yeah. And they saw me and said, Um, you're here on vacation. I was like, Yes, would you like to work? And I'm like, All right, fine. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So um there's a lady from Shirky restaurant, she has a many events in New York and she's like, Dave, come. I need a I need a butterfly. It's like how yeah. big you want the butterfly? Yeah. It's like maybe five feet. I was like I can do better than five feet. Really? So I know I, we have a picture of it somewhere. We're yeah, gonna bring it up. Yeah. So how how large was this butterfly? I did a fifteen foot butterfly. Fifteen feet. What yeah. was this used for? Um, she's a she has a, a fat name flutter. Yes. Yeah, she does oh, it. Oh, there um, we see it. Yes. Yeah. So what is that made out of? That one is Private Ryan's butterfly. Actually. Yeah. It just so happened in the same year he had tropical rainforest. Right. And I was able to do that. Um and. It, so, it was a hit. <laughs> so you specialize in these large, um, large scale. Yeah, I I try to think big. Um, yeah. Back in the day, um, about ten years ago, I started working for Derek Lewis. Yeah. Um, Island People, and he was just like, your work is good, but you need to work bigger. Right. You need to have that impact. Yes. And so from that day forward, I started to work on bigger props, huge things. Yeah. Tell us about the elephant. Oh, the elephant um was for Private Ryan's um out of Africa. Right. Brainwash, so called Brainwash 2018, mm -hmm. and um, I decided to step up the plate a little bit and, and do something that's like a showstopper. Like everybody could just come into the fact and just see, like, that's an elephant on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I was just like, you know, I work day and night tirelessly. <laughs> so, how long does it take you to do something like the elephant? So, we, we have pictures of the different stages, yeah? yeah? And how long and what's the process? And is it just you alone working? Sometimes be alone, sometimes we have like a friend or a cousin like that. That's my cousin's backyard. Yeah. Wow. So I was like, um, I, I could use your backyard because yeah. I don't have a space of my own. It's like, yeah. all right, fine, but don't make it a habit. <laughs> you know, and then like everybody in the neighborhood came across, um, the, the Jewish people next door. Yeah. Everyone's just like, what are you doing? Because they haven't seen somebody do like that, you know? Yeah. So it was, it was nice for me to change the community. Yeah. And then when they saw it come out, all the kids took pictures with it before you actually went to the But doesn't that first. remind you of Carnival when you had the wirebending days and mm -hmm. the whole community was involved in the making of the mask? Well, um, wirebending is actually a pillar or building block of society. I'm sad to see not much of it around right now. Mm -hmm. So as a teacher, I try to put that in my curriculum. Yes. In fact, um, right now I'm studying um, my master's in Carnival Arts and I, I hope to get sabbatical, maybe. Yeah. And pursue curricul uh, curriculum officer to change the system because we actually like it should have carnival arts in integrated into the system yes. as well as pan because we have all these solutions for um i guess adverse um all the negative yeah, activity negative that's things. happening so, yeah. i mean tell them come and do something because yeah. um back in the day everybody would come together to a juvie band like yes. Keats in, in in um Bella road everybody would come together to, to make sealer masks like the griffiths right. in belmont so if we had a building block of society where everybody could come together and settle their differences and just do something under the elders, mm -hmm. then this would work. So it would be a, like a language, a common yeah, we language have, around which we actually that have a solution right there in our, in our yeah. yard, but we don't think yeah. about how far we could you go. You know, that's what it. we've been talking about all week: different types of solutions. You know, mm -hmm. whether it's through literacy and through the creative arts, through science, um, which we were talking about yesterday, using mm -hmm. science to really diversify the economy and to get people involved. Yeah. So I really, I really like um, the fact that you are. Putting your creative energies, yeah, well, not I'm, just here but internationally yeah. as well. What I've been doing um, over my 12 years of teaching, I take my fifth formers that have promise and yeah. I actually bring them into my home and say, hey, you're not doing anything home? Come and work for some food, work for a stipend, right. learn a skill. I have many of my my kids, like you can see, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't have no kids on my own, but 
kids that are out there doing yeah. stuff right now. But continue to do your do good. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. thank you so much for coming right. on the program um, this morning. I just morning. bought a little souvenir from Soka Bread Wash New York. Oh, thank a, you. What's a, this? It's an African bowl. Oh, right? okay. Open for you? So I'm going to be using it. Mm, of course. I'm gonna have, we're going to have to open this on air because we're out of time. But yeah. I love it. I love all the gifts that <laughs> I get on this show. <laughs> I treasure them. Thank you so much for coming no on problem. the program, thank Dave. You for having me. We're going to go across Come to Rishi everyone. because I know he's monitoring the Facebook very carefully.